So we've already been talking the last few days about love um, and what we can learn about how we should love people and what love means from 1 Corinthians 13 verses 4 to 7. And I'm going to carry on um, digging deeper into that passage and exploring that now. Um, Last week, we finished off by looking about how love doesn't boast um, and it's not proud. Um, But today we're going to look at how love does not dishonor others. If you love someone, you're not just going to go around speaking badly of them. You're not going to disrespect them in public or place them in scenarios that will make them feel uncomfortable. Um, You won't be making jokes at their expense and making them feel belittled and unappreciated. Instead, you should be treating them with respect. Um, and showing them how much worth they hold for you, and showing other people that as well. Um, It's so, so valuable if you love someone to be telling other people how much you appreciate them. Um, Even when you're with them to talk about how much they do for you or anything like that will make them feel really good because they'll recognize that you are proud of them and that you do recognize how much they do for you and that they want to tell everyone else about it. You'll remind them how much you appreciate them as well. And you'll speak highly of them to people. And God does for this, God does this for us all of the time. Um, He calls us his children in 1 John 3 verse 1. And he calls us his handiwork in Ephesians 2.10. He said we're fearfully and wonderfully made in Psalm 139. He's always giving us these beautiful titles that reflect how much we are worth to God because of his unending love for us. In the same way, we should be building up the people we love um, and we should be telling them um, how much we love them, um, not putting them down. The next thing it says is that love is not self-seeking. In a loving relationship, the focus of each individual shouldn't be what they can get out of it for themselves. Um, It shouldn't be about keeping track of who has done more for who. Um, It's not a competition and neither is it a mercantile exchange. The focus of a loving relationship is on the other person. It's about putting their needs before your own and desiring to please them before anything else. It's about learning how much more you can give, not what you can take away. Once again, this is not limited to human relationships. God is the epitome of this giving love. He gave his only son to die. Jesus didn't just give a part of himself. He didn't just give most of himself. He gave his whole self, his whole life because of God's love for us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son. God gave the most he can give and not because we deserved it, but because he loved us. So in our relationships, we shouldn't be seeking to get what we want from ourselves. We should be giving as much love as we can possibly give. And our aim should always to be seeking how we can give more to people and how we can love more, rather than trying to find out ways that we can get as much as we can back. So that's everything for today. Um, I'm going to end in a prayer again. Lord, again, we thank you for what we've learned from this passage, and we pray that you'll help us to love in the way that you have commanded us to. We pray that we can be building other people up um, and that we will be respectful to the people we love um, and that we'll be appreciative of them. Um, And rather than putting them down, we will really show them how much they're worth, both in private and in public. I pray, Lord, that you will um, protect us against the temptation to gossip and talk about people that we love behind their back um, in in a detrimental way. I pray that you'll help us to recognize our own sinfulness and our own shortcomings, and rather than pointing out other people's faults, to actually humble ourselves um, and just be showing them love and appreciation. And I finally pray, Lord, that you'll help us not to be selfish, that you'll free us from the desire to pursue what we want and and get the things that we want from ourselves and start to think more about 
how we can give more to other people and how we can love them better and care for them better and help them better. Lord, we pray that we can be like you in the way that you are so, so generous and giving with your love and so forgiving of the fact that we really don't deserve it. Thank you, Lord, for the way you love us. Thank you um, for the beautiful ways that you have described us in scripture, which really illustrate our worth to you. And Lord, we pray um, that we can recognize that that's not because of our own doing, um, that we're worth so much because you love us. In Jesus' name, amen.